Hey everyone, it's actually Jeb Bush, and today I am fortunate enough to have my dad on and Austin Kent, who is the head of content at NBA Top Shot. And today we are going to be ripping some archive packs and some run it back rare packs. And uh, this is these these moments come from the era that my dad grew up watching, so he is extremely excited to to go ahead and rip. And Austin, I know. Uh, you can't join us in ripping, but I feel like you've spent a long time with these moments and hopefully you can uh, live a little vicariously through us. All right. So I think we're going to start off with uh, my dad ripping his archive packs. Okay. So what do we know going into this? Like, yeah. So uh, he's familiar he's with go the list or what? He's going in blind. I'm going in blind, which is okay. what I want to go in. Okay. That way I'm not, not disappointed if I get something I, <laughs> okay. so I, and, I, and I can just get only excited. So I love it. I, I love I'm it. looking. I'm looking for the history and all this. I've been excited about this. Oh my gosh! Yes. So let me see. Here, go ahead and mute that. There we go. Let me see. Hook shot. Joe Barry. Joe Barry. Joe. Ooh. Go at yeah, Joe. Clean. I remember Joe Barry Carroll. Yep. Joe he, Barry Carroll. Sweet. Good player. Nope. Yeah, former uh, number one overall pick, you know, uh, an all star in this season, you, you know, the uh, and an opponent of your Lakers in I think the the first round, I think potentially the second round. So he um, was a, he was a center, if I remember correctly. So that means yeah. he's second behind Kareem that year. He was his backup yeah. for for all stars yeah. that year. Yeah. So so uh, yeah, just the plethora of giants of the game in the era was it was just really fun to kind of go through. You know. Joe Barry Carroll among them, former number one pick. I think uh, had some pretty big games here. And in this one, uh, four overtime battle where oh, he, wow. cracked, he cracked 40 points. And, uh, you know, about I think a week later, he played in his first and only uh, all-star appearance. That's mm. sick. Cool. I think it's cool that the hook shot is now a, a play type. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, the hook shots did not exist, you know, but there's no way we we're going to put the junior junior sky hook into the yeah. platform without having the hook shot play type. So we, we dug into the code and did the back end work required for the hook shot to exist. And now, now that we had it, we're like, well, I, I mean, I guess Joe Barry, he's got the <laughs> second hook shot, uh, but we have it going forward. That's a, a point of much debate. Sometimes when you see a hook shot in the, the previous years, we didn't know what to call it. So we either mm. had the, Call mm. it a jump shot or a layup, and we never felt good about it. So hook shot, it's officially in the product now. So, 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 so Wilt used to have a shot similar, and they what did they call it back then? Because he did have like it wasn't a true hook like Kareem's was, because he really perfected it. But he, but Wilt back in his day used to do a similar type of move. If you look at some early clips of of him. When he's back and before he went to the Lakers, he had something, and he then he created the finger roll, which he was more noted for. It, maybe if we if we launched Top Shot in the eighties, then everything would be a hook shot or, <laughs> or a finger roll, like you mentioned. Yeah, um, you know, maybe that's the next. Uh, next oh, thing. so you don't have a finger roll yeah. yet? <laughs> Not yet. We call them White House stuff. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. All right, I can, I go for the next one. So let's go yep. on the, the go for the other end. Let's see what we got. Kiki Vandaway. Oh, yeah. Ex UCLA player, he came from UCLA. Kiki Vandaway was really good in college. I didn't think he was so good in, in the pros. I was a bit disappointed. Good, decent player, but uh, but yeah. still. And he was with the again. We're all and so far west. That's the Trailblazers, as well as that in our division. Yeah. So two for two. I'll take that. I'll take <laughs> both of those. Can okay, we go see the middle one? Three point, three point. Dang. Oh, oh, oh co well, like, cover your eyes. Okay. <laughs> now, now this one, I will, uh, this one I'll trade. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. So that's a game. Is That's not a game winner. It's that's against just, the Lakers. Oh in, yeah. That's to beat the half. It's, no, the it's finals. against the Lakers. Yeah. In the finals. It's in, in the, the, oh, oh, so don't worry. You got the painful. last laugh. You got the last laugh in this one. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> That that's still, but of of that final, that's the first one I get to open is Ainge hitting the three pointers, <laughs> and they beat us. We're oh my god! Get gosh. these ones out of the way. Get the get the Celtics out of the okay, way to make room back. for the Lakers. Yeah. Okay. 
but again, it's I I have appreciated now more of Ainge in his oh, career. Ainge, and now Ainge's he's a legend now. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, he's definitely a great GM, and he's, and whether I he's whether he's opposed to where I stand on regards to that, I have to give him that street cred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's so, he's crushing it. So we're gonna go the other way now. Let's see. Ooh. A dunk by who? Kurt Rand. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. And who's this against? Celtics. Oh, there's, there's oh, your wow. revenge. Your revenge. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait. Who did he dunk on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see that. Is that, is that Walton? Walton? That's Walton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Against Walton. <laughs> yeah. There he there goes. Go. What do you remember um, about Kurt Rambis? You know what? Um, number one is I remember he came up. He they called him Superman when he first came up. I love because it. because of the glasses he looked like clark kent so they called him superman initially way back when but this is before ever uh dwight howard was called superman Just or be- shack before that I think shack yeah was the correct first, yeah. so a lot of it, it was and it was because of those glasses and the biggest thing is why he stayed on the lakers start moved to the starting lineup is just his hustle he yeah. wasn't the greatest skilled player uh, and he's noted for getting clothesline in the in the uh, different Celtic series. That's that's what that, I knew. that's, that's what the I knew most painful for. thing is is that clothesline. I remember watching that. It's like I was so mad right. when when it happens. Like, are you kidding me? And 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 back then, now it's a flagrant foul. Back then, it was like nothing, and <laughs> yeah. it cha- and it changed the momentum, and we lost that game that we should have won because they got they got in Lakers' heads on playing dirty ball. We knew we wanted to. There's Lakers all over these drops. There's, so there's three sets, and they're all filled oh, with wow. Lakers. But we knew we wanted one in the archive set, and uh, and then we just thought Kurt Ramos would be the perfect opportunity to be able to continue that story of the Lakers, you know, special season. We're thinking we didn't know what kind of plays they would have available, right? We worked directly with the NBA right. on on getting the plays. Um, and we didn't know what they'd be able to dig up for us. We were we thought it would be a hustle play, like you said, right? But then they. Our NBA like, editor comes to us he's, with this Kurt Ram is just slamming it on Bill wow. Walton. Wow. And I'm like, this is too perfect. Like, we have to that's, use this moment. That's incredible. And, and it's a playoff moment. And it's, it's a playoff it's a, cha- it's a championship moment. So it's mm-hmm. like it, putting in his context. Both <laughs> yeah. both that and Ainge are actually great things to have. Yeah. To We're see, off to a I good mean, start. It, the, that's a great start. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go in reverse order as last time. So let's go with Oh, ooh, we got another Barry. JVC. Oh, it's another the same Joe Barry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Joe Barry. 43 points, 24 rebounds, six assists. Wow. And four oh, really? Blocks. He was busy. Wow. He was busy. He almost got a five by five. Yeah. And did you see see the old uniforms and the shorts yeah. on that? I want Joe. Barry. He's a big tall dude to see like that. So it's interesting to see that. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what this. Buck Williams. Buck Williams. Okay, so I I wow, would, that's sick. I was from. Oh yeah, He's nice on the block. Next. Do you know who Buck Williams is? Know the name? Don't remember him much as a player. And again, I'm West Coast, so oh, and he did against the the Knicks. Yeah. So right. one twenty. So th- that's is that the Knicks? They already had um, what's his name Ewing, Ewing. at that time. Mm-hmm. So who did he block it against? Hold on, I want to go back to see who, who, did it show who he blocked it on. He's against the Knicks. It's 21. Uh, might be Gerald Wilkins, Dominique's brother. Oh, but, yeah. Wow. Buck, yeah, it does. Buck was, uh, you know, a three-time All-Star over the course okay. of his career. It's, it's, it's crazy. These these players who kind of carved out roles for themselves kind of been lost to time a little bit. Uh, hmm. So we're excited to be able to bring these stories back to life. But yeah, it gets something like, let me look it up just to make sure I'm not messing up, but something like 30 points and 20 boards in this game. <sighs> Jeez. There are, you know, 10 players who, like, it, since, like, you know, the early 80s, only 10 players have done that more than once. And Buck Williams yeah. is one of them, just with an, an incredible rejection. In oh, did I hit the wrong one? Yeah. You're oh, there you go. They just want to show you your Kurt Rambis again. <laughs> so, so, so in reality, again, for me, that's a good thing to memory. And now it's going to cause me to look back. So, so for me, I'm going to now look back at some of the, all these different players. So far, I know most of them. But I remember if I don't know that, it's gonna be like, oh, okay, now I remember who he is. Yeah. So for me, it's just it's in the brain. It's just gotta remember somewhere where, in there. I feel where, that where way. it is. <laughs> yeah, where, where it is. You know, we like to think if these can if you remember the era, these can be nostalgic. Yeah. And if are. you don't remember the era, they can be educational. Like uh so so we're really excited. Correct. To to do Terry this. Porter, another Portland Trailblazers, good player. Yeah. 
he was he really gave the Lakers a bunch of headaches. So, yeah. um, so who's he getting the ball from? Like that, that they, yeah. There's he looks like Drexler. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah it is Drexler. Yeah. Oh, so Clyde, Clyde, Glide. Wow. This is when they yeah. were potent. They were really, yeah. really good. Really, great, really good. Great back court together. And I think in, in that particular uh, position, uh, they're forcing uh, forcing overtime, which they would go on to win. But okay. Terry Porter, uh, top 20 in the NBA history for assists. And 16 great. assists in this game. Just a really underrated piece, you know? Clyde's great. name certainly transcends the generations. Terry Porter's not as much, but... Uh, together, like you said, they just made an excellent tandem. Well, watching them, it was the two of them that you really did not like dealing with because they gave the Laker backcourt a bunch of, of trouble. Um, because if you put money, if you put your best guarding person on Clyde, Terry would tear you up. <laughs> right. So, so that's where you had to deal with on that aspect with them. So, no, I, I absolutely love Terry Porter, and he definitely was that. And again, I. Again, I watch a lot of West Coast basketball, so. Okay, who's the duck? Doc. Doc? Oh, oh, my God. gosh. <laughs> Doc. Oh, gosh. This is yeah, with the Hawks. So this oh was this, this with the Dom. So this is with against Dominique. Oh, my gosh. Was was Doc Rivers any good? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, I think Doc ended up in an all-star game, not in this season, but the, the Hawks won like 57 games this year. And they were oh, solid. Wow. Doc was right up there as a you know uh, an above average starter, like mm. in the fifteen and ten assists per game range, and he could throw it down like you, like you see here. Um, That's crazy, you know, Dominique, Kevin Willis, Doc Rivers, like they they had a good squad there, yeah, and and did. this was you know the Hawks didn't get much postseason success, but uh, they were they were a solid team, you know. You had Boston dominating back then. So a lot of teams right. that were very good teams, you don't hear much about. So I like for me out West, we had the Lakers and everyone just knew, remember the Lakers. Portland right. was real good. The Warriors were good. So again, I, Atlanta was very, very good team. So I, I think, um, yeah, Doc was a very good player. I remember he was definitely a good player. Kiki. Oh, no, so, 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 repeat number two for Kiki. Yeah, doubling up on Kiki. Kiki yeah. averaged like 30 points a game several times uh, with the Nuggets before. Do you remember that Nuggets team that would just – I don't think they necessarily won a whole lot, but they certainly put the ball in the net. Like just a, just a ton of players who are just bucket after bucket. Yeah, I agree. Bucket. Again, another team out West. I absolutely yeah. do remember the yeah. Nuggets. Again, yeah. they, all the West teams I remember, they're in our division, and we were watching them. Play. so for me yes you know I'm, and back then you also were looking at the utah jazz coming up i mean that was yeah. another team that was really nasty yeah that people don't you know it was a last. fun it was a, a fun era it was yeah you guys that's right you i can remember this is definitely bringing back not only memories a lot of emotion for me that's good that's what it's all about it is gerald wilkins uh, there you go here okay, nicks I'm amazed by this play. Oh, wow. yeah, I'm oh, sick. So that actually looks kind of like a Dr. J move. Look at that. Yeah, how yeah. is? I mean, look at that. Boom. That's some incredible control there. Wow. Yeah, Wilkins. The uh, I think he's the little brother of Dominique. He's in his second year here. On the Knicks, Knicks didn't really get it going in '86, '87 just yet, but they weren't far away from building their own sort of consistent force in the East. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, this was Patrick Ewing's second year, and I think it's Gerald Wilkins' second year as well. And that dunk, you know, it runs in the family, clearly. Dominique, no stranger to amazing dunks, but Gerald could do it as well. So. Yeah. He, he's a name I don't remember much. Oh, really? Yeah, look at that. So wow. Two in a row. <laughs> they want to make sure that you, that you don't forget it. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, it's, a good, it's a great dunk. I'm not yeah. sure I will. You don't really see – a lot of the moves – you know that that you'll see like we see the same type of dunks you know we, we yeah we watch a lot of highlights we see a lot of the same type of dunks but the, the the movement that he does is kind of distinctly from that era like you mentioned dr j earlier today uh skeets on his stream said like shades of mj like just that it was a different mm -hmm. element of right. that sort of body control uh that yeah. players dunked with back then and it's really kind of fun to see that so the difference is again the game is spread out more back then you packed the inside 
So you yeah. had to have that type of movement with your hands and with the ball because you're going to get either fouled real hard and you can get fouled really, really hard, or you're going to get the ball blocked. You're not going to get a, they're not going to give you a clean, just straight in look like today's yeah. game. You, you're the floor spread out. So more, much more, yeah. you got, you got a clean look at the, at the hoop. You didn't get that. And you would get hit. I mean, the Chris yeah. Rambis <laughs> thing. I mean, that's part of that whole era as well. Xavier. McKinney. Oh, there you go. I, now Xavier again. Here's another West Coast. There's another the Super the Sonics. Oh, they were they were. Oh, nice, sweet. And this dude was a scoring machine. Yeah, Z Xavier McDaniel. I mean, he was could score. Yeah, he really could. And that Sonics team um, had, I think, is the only team that had three players average more than twenty three points per game. So that's, never, that's never been wow. Done Gary Payton was on that team, if I remember. Gary correctly. wasn't in yet. He okay. came uh, in was like Sean 90, Kemp on that team. No Sean Kemp yet either. Oh, this wow. was Xavier McDaniel, Dale Ellis, and Tom oh, Chambers. Yeah. And Ellis could light it yeah, up from three could, point lane. He, he could light it up from three. So so these so Xavier McDaniel, big tough guy, would later you know have a brief stint on the on the Knicks. But the Sonics were one of the teams that the Lakers conquered, of course, on their way to the title. I think Western Conference Finals. It was a sweep. It was uh, the Sonics didn't put up much of a fight, but uh, fun to get a nice acrobatic move from Xavier McDaniel, the X Man. Yes. Was, uh, <laughs> well, and, and you know he's the one that um, Jordan told him, "Hey, I'm going to do all right." No, no, it was Larry Bird. I think it's the famous Larry Bird one where Larry Bird says, Hey, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to stand right here at this spot and I'm going to make this shot to win the game. Yeah. You know, nothing you can do to stop me. And Xavier said, Oh, come on. No one could do that to me. And lo and behold, boom, he does it to it. And, and he was a good defender on top of it. He was yeah. not a bad defender. It was, but it was, it was Larry Bird being this, Hey, I'm going to call my shot and there's nothing you can do. I tell yeah. you what I'm going to do. Yeah. And he's, a classic, and he's, classic cl bird classic bird so 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 jeb how much of of this uh, era have you just picked up over the years just from your dad from oh, your own fandom yeah definitely definitely like bits and pieces and like some in like really deep detail like obviously like growing up a laker fan and stuff and being like learning about magic and learning about kareem uh, and James Worthy and all these guys, you learn all these intricate details. Like I've heard that Larry Bird story before, um, right. stuff like that. But I think the cool part is like, you know, you don't have a complete picture of it. And like you said, like it is so crazy to me. Like when you look back, even even like players when I was a kid and like I was religiously watching Kobe play. So many players and names that like when someone says it to me, I'm like, oh, they're so good. And no one remembers who they are right now. And it's yeah. like, I can't even imagine like all these players from back then because social media wasn't a thing. You yeah. couldn't like go and watch highlights on YouTube, like all this stuff. So these players are like truly players that are, I feel like are really lost to, to time. And uh, that's one thing that's kind of cool about this is even, I feel like after we film this video, my dad's going to like for the next weeks and be like, oh yeah, this guy, like the X-Man, like he'll start talking about him and. I've never even heard of Xavier McDaniels, but I feel like I'm going to start hearing a couple more things about him because it sounds like he was an incredible player who is one of those people that was lost to time because he never was able to to make it to the top and like truly cement his legacy. Well, yeah, no, I think you're you're exactly right, and that's one of the things I really love us, you know, having the opportunity to do is kind of I picture these sets, all three of these sets, the common, the rare, and the legendary, being kind of a guided tour like through a museum like a, a walking tour where we just have all these stops along the way and you can certainly just absorb the era just by being in it yeah there you got ricky, ricky pierce, pierce another eastern conference guy yeah uh the, the the this year's sixth man of the year uh two times oh wow two times six man of the yeah, year yeah he, he, he didn't he go to to the celtics eventually uh, I'm not, I'm not sure where he ended up over, like later on in his I, career, but he could have been. Yeah. I, I, I just remember, I remember him being on several teams. So I do remember him. He was, he was a very good, really good ball player. Again, you, you have all these guys that, again, I think that for me, I watched them. For, I'm in my younger years in the eighties, but I'm in, um, uh, mid twenties. Okay. And so for me, uh, this is, this is the, it's his age right now. 
you know, right. you're, that's interesting. So, <laughs> so, so for me, this is that love of that game. And you watched all these players and I watched a lot of NBA back then. It's did, really, it, it, go ahead. Did you go to summer league dressed as a bear? They didn't have. <laughs> the, Does that the run com- in the family too? You know? <laughs> well, um, the, the, Ooh. The part of taking on a character that Apple doesn't fall far from the truth. Are they, are they, are they acorn? I guess is the phrase. Reggie, no. Reggie Theus? Theus. Theus. Reggie Theus. Theus. And he was a really, really good, great player that people. Yeah. This is where you guys are dogging. You probably didn't even heard of Reggie Theus. Never oh, heard the name weird. before. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So the Sacramento Kings, again, this is their early years. They weren't that good, but Theus was their scoring machine. He probably had a lot of points in this game. What says he it? scored 10 points oh, 10? and four assists. Okay. Two-time this All-Star. Is, yeah, so Theus was a good ball player. And future head coach of the Kings. Wow. Yep. Uh, and a lot of uh, my generation, so I'm mid-30s, so so Jeb, you might have missed this. Reggie Theus was uh, the like main character. Like, he was like a coach of the show Hang Time. It was an NBC sort of Saturday mm-hmm. morning kids show. And Reggie oh, Theus was the high school coach. Like they had, like they had, like like a rookie wow. Kobe made a cameo appearance. They, I think they had like Grant Hill. They just had all these players kind of wow. making cameos. And wow. Reg, that's how I knew Reggie Theus. I didn't know he, he was a player at the time. I've since learned all about Reggie Theus. This wow. is the second second year that the Kings were in Sacramento. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, I knew it'd be early on. Or where yeah. did they move from? Kansas City. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Kansas yeah. City Kings. And they, and, yeah, and they, and their stadium was definitely not. I, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, Michael Cage. Now, I don't think he personally, I don't think it was that good, but I hated the Clippers. So, right. <laughs> and, the, and the Clippers were back then not good at all. I mean, that was for me, that's the team in the West you could beat up on was the Clippers. I think the eight Lakers at that time owned them. Yeah, it wasn't so much of a rivalry yet between the LA franchises back then. But uh, I mean, look at that hair. Look at that hair on my yeah, cage. It's pretty, Certainly, it's pretty incredible. It reminds me of this uh, this Chappelle show. Oh well, yeah, a character from that. <laughs> well, again, that was in style back then. Yeah. yeah. So, so the, the dude was definitely in style back then. It was, it was, yeah, definitely. And Bill Walton had used to have some pretty good hair too. Uh, Rodney yeah. McRae. Uh, okay, so he played with Houston. Is this Houston? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So again, he he was I. I believe he was in their backcourt, if I remember correctly. Yeah, correct. he's throwing a lob. Oh, yeah. Is that Keem? Yeah, that is a lob to uh, Samson. The oh, other, is, oh other Ralph. Are. Is a, oh, is I know who Ralph him? Samson oh, is. Gosh. I've heard that. I, I know. I'm pretty familiar with him. Yeah, he was yeah, good. Out, out of Virginia. Came out of Virginia University. Yeah. Um, number one draft choice, if I remember yeah. correctly. Ooh, Rambus. This oh, is, that's that same dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is up. such a cool highlight. No, oh yeah, and he perfect. got. I can. And, I truly and, and he got that blows, piece from Worthy. Look at that pass, Worthy. This, blo- this kind of blows my mind. I never thought of Kurt Rambis as like even having the ability to like jump. Well, much less, so like, he was a great rebounder. Someone. That's why they liked him. He could rough it up and pull down rebounds for the Lakers. Yeah, so he, is really what he was known for. A handle. Harper. Oh, I know who Harper. Is. Harper could play. Yeah. Wow. wow, that is clean. Look at that. That's wow. very uh, yeah. kind of Rondo esque. <laughs> Rondo, well, exactly. Well, this again, he created. This is long before Rondo. Yeah, no, I know that, but that's the immediately watching him play. That's what it like right. reminds me of his length and his ability to just kind of move. And then Harper move like that. moved to several teams in his career as well. Yeah. So this is early Harper. Look, if I remember correctly, that's where he came up was with. Wasn't he on the Supersonics at some point, or am I? No, no. Okay. No, Derek Harper. I think, I think eventually went. I think part of his career is in the Clippers. Okay, if I remember correctly, um, and Derek I ended don't. up on the Knicks at one point as well. He went to the yeah, finals. Okay. He went to the finals with the Knicks. Okay, yeah. Oh wow, he was a good player. Yeah. Again, was and and, th- and that's when before the Mavericks were owned by um, Cuban. Yeah, that's pre Cuban. Yeah, yeah, yeah pre Cuban. So you yeah. gotta think. Cuban changed the playing field for that team. Wow, Vinny Johnson. Yeah. Oh yeah, Just a... he could play. Just Vin, a Mack Vin, truck. Yeah, he was part of the championship team. Yeah. 
Vinny, he was their sixth man for that team back then. Oh, really? yeah, the okay. microwave. The guy would yeah, come off the that's bench. That's correct. That's yeah, correct. The microwave. Well, kind of Lou Williams esque, maybe even uh, a bit better. 28 points in this one off the bench. Yeah, he, um, yeah. he could play. We'll go on to win a title with them. Built like a you know a running back out there, right? So Is this two of the same one? <laughs> no, no, no. I was just watching, watching it again. It again yeah, yeah. So yeah. Vinny can play. Yeah, definitely. Hot Rod Williams. Oh, my gosh. Now you got a rookie here. But against Bird, oh, he yeah. blocks Bird in yeah. Boston Garden. Yeah, not bad. And then, not... and then goes all the way for the, so he blocks it as well as. And then uh, a teammate, take... fellow rookie, Ron Harper finishes it. Oh, okay. But that team, has... that team had four rookies. I don't know if you remember this uh, being, you know, a, a team in the East, the the Cavs, four rookies, Mark Price. Ron Harper, Hot Rod Williams, and so Brad Doherty. What, so they're the team eventually that would challenge really Cleveland was going to go against the uh, Jordan Bulls. And yep. this is where actually Cleveland was favored to beat them. And Jordan was single-handedly won that series. Yeah, I clearly shot. remember it's like, oh my gosh. And Price, they had a really good team back then. Yeah. And Cleveland was really good. So this is just, this is that front end of that developing. Yeah, yeah, four great oh, rookies, great. you know, uh, this year. So yeah, that's great. That's really cool. All right, forty-seven right, Xavier at, McDaniel. Oh, another once X-Men. again. Yeah, yeah. This is it's a it's a cool it's a cool. Uh, it, it's Look crazy because huh? I think back then this kind of goes back to what you're saying with how just this the the way people played is like so distinct to that time. Like yeah. that's just such a like a wide sweeping like aggressive move, and you just wouldn't see that today. But you see how the paint is so much more crowded. Oh I, yeah, I, I mean it's just everyone's sitting in that paint. No one did three points. Three point shot shot wasn't what it is. Yeah, today. Yeah, seven foot center and a six foot eleven power forward. Everybody's just sitting there with a foot in the key. Right. <laughs> Did you just pull the double hot rod on this? One? Oh my gosh! Rod. Okay, and 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 the Ainge shot. Ainge. Oh my gosh! Yep. Yeah. No, hot rod's one of the one of the cooler ones in this for sure. It's just because of the it being a rookie. It's always cool. Oh, six ninety eight. McCray. Yeah, great. Yeah. That's your second McCray. Or did I have a McCray? I think this. I this. I think this is my second. Yeah. It's this. Second it's McCray. a clean lob. It's a clean one. Yeah. Jeez, and- he's so big. Well, Reminds me of just David Robinson. Yeah, David Robinson was, was thicker though. Yeah, but just I mean, like Ralph that. Ralph Sampson was not that. He was a thin. Um, who was the tall guy that? Um, Bull. No, not uh, Manute Bull. I remember Manute Bull. It was uh, Bradley. Oh, who, here's who a, new was one. a tall, skinny dude. Oh, oh, Sean, oh Sean. Sean Bradley. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. But here you go. Here's your Chuck rookie Pearson. of the year. You know. Oh, that's sick. Pearson could play. Wow. Yeah. So he, so Pearson stays with them for a while for a long time. And he is isn't he a part of the team with um Pearson still there with uh Reggie Miller? Yeah, I think they would have overlapped. I Definitely. think they overlap if I remember yeah. correctly. Wow. So yeah. yeah, Pearson was a really good ball player. Really, really good. Again, yeah, these guys are lost to your generation. It's similar yeah. to like all the middle, the Packers of the NBA now that you see coming up is kind of like for me um, that Larry Nance. Now I know well, about Larry Nance, but that's because his son was on the Lakers and now right. is on the. I think the Trailblazers is he on the Pelicans? Yes, now? yeah, this is with the Suns. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, he was tall and lanky. Was Larry Nance? Yeah, I think he he was um, power forward or was he? Yeah, what was power? No, forward? I think I think yeah, I think you're right. Power forward and the guy could dunk just like his son can dunk. Right. Yeah. Uh, just incredible. Like to, just to see the elevation on this one, you know, Larry Nance so often known for, for dunking, but in this particular moment, finishing with a nice soft touch on a layup, but you can only do that layup if, if you're you an incredible time, right? high flyer. Yeah. Uh, so it's fun to be able to see that. Yeah. Cage Michael, again. Uh, same one. That's my third, I think. So Michael Cage is drawn to you. <laughs> Terry Porter, Terry uh, Porter. Yeah, that's well, this is the one I had. Yeah. Oh, okay. This might be my first. That's your first. Yeah, that's the same one I had. Nice. All right, one more pack here, right. and then we'll get to the get to the good stuff. Is this your seventh already? Yeah. Wow. Let's go. Oh, sorry. We've been flying. There we go. Oh, Kevin, okay. Kevin. Oh, I love this yes. one. 
Is he dunking? Hello. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I love that. I can't get over the celebration. I love it. <laughs> um, and, this, and again, this gets the Celtics. That's sick. Yeah. Another player who would go on to, to be an all-star. But yeah, just a big part of uh, a right. team that was great. 57 win Atlanta Hawks this year. And, and Kevin Willis is a big part of that. Uh, and played in the league for a long time. Like yeah. there, Kevin Willis would go on to play with like the 0506 Mavs. You oh, know, he wow. played until Holy he was like cow. 45. He was, he, he was around for a while. His, his best time was when he was with the Hawks. That Hawks team was really yeah. good. I mean, if they weren't in, if Boston wasn't dominant back then, they were a really, really, really good team. Yeah. Yeah, with Chicago, Detroit, and Boston in your uh, in your conference, it's hard to get much postseason <laughs> success. So. Yeah, right. It definitely wasn't yeah. like it is now. But uh, cool. So we All got right. the run it back, our rare set. So we've got two sets, uh, three different sets, and the the rare sort of the meat and potatoes of of the historic. All right, we got to handle Derek Harper again. Is it, it's it's the yeah. same one. Yeah, yeah. We've okay, already opened. I think I got this. Yeah, one. you had that one. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. yeah. That's a big yeah. pause. And then he does a little one eighty. I almost always finishing it too, right? Yeah, it's such yeah. a clean. Just the whole yeah. from start to finish, just so clean. Yeah. So it's so funny. Fluid. It wasn't called handles back then. <laughs> yeah, they would have I, used a different term. I no, they didn't have any term for it. Right. So if you look at the history, I mean, it's like you think back on uh, of NBA. Isaiah probably had one of the best handles before it was ever called handles. I mean, if you, they look at yeah. you like see these ex NBA players discuss who really could do something with the ball. Isaiah was one of them. And Magic might be on the list, but he was a big tall man. It wasn't necessarily dribbling the ball and doing all the stuff that the handles player does nowadays. Yeah. But Isaiah is probably considered, I would say, one of the best oh, yeah. uh, person in regards to that. Yeah. You know. And again, he went. He and Magic were good, great friends. So, yeah. right. might we don't need to see more okay, Michael Cage? <laughs> We've seen enough Michael Cage. Michael Cage, Cage. last last a lifetime. A, another Buck Williams. Buck. I love this is, Buck Williams. So, is, is that the one we've seen already? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's, let's skip that yeah. one. Okay, let's see where this one goes. Okay, what do we got? We got another Joe Barry. Uh, Man, okay. Yeah, I think that's your third one. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. So, so now here we're at the. Da, All right. Da, 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 da. Here Portland Trailblazers. Oh, Clyde my. Drexler. Oh, cool. You're getting the glide. Clyde, Clyde glide. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, he's going good. full court. Oh, there. Look at that. Boom. There's his get patented dunk. You got to get that glide. Get that glide in there. Oh, so, oh, so five sick. slamma jamma. Did you ever hear a five slamma jamma? That was the Houston team, right? The that, Houston University college, college team, college right? Team. Yeah. Where yeah. they had Elijah on Drexler. And I remember who the third one was, but they could just like, and Drexler was that one who, who really could just dunk at just with incredible speed. So yeah, I am a big Drexler fan. Oh, so I'm, I'm, ha I'm really a... I'm really happy with that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. a, that's a that's a beautiful, wonderful. Yep, that's one of the one of my faves. I think. Yeah, no, that one's that one's gorgeous. All right, and here's mine. Let's hope let's hope I can end it on a high note and not a a medium note. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, eight sixteen, Rodney okay, McRae. So you've seen that one already? Yeah. I think there's a Rambus. Dunk. Yeah, you've seen that. that. Championship yeah, that. badge on there. Yeah, that's clean. Jeff, Jeff Malone. Jeff, Jeff Malone. One. You know, Jeff Malone was an underrated scorer that. Uh, you know, he he ended up playing a, a big role on Utah, but here he's in Washington. This is his like career high, forty eight points in this one. Wow. Uh, yeah, a tough bucket. <laughs> Gets fouled. That's our boy Mike Gaminski uh, with the defense there. Uh, but 40, 40 points in that one for Jeff Malone. So that is a player I've never heard of. Yeah, Jeff Malone lost the time for sure. Uh, but uh, the guy could put the ball in the net. You know, there's yeah. a while where the, the Utah Jazz had two Malones that could really score. Uh, Jeff, of course, being one, and Carl being the other. Uh, wow. You know, I, I, I yeah. The story. Yeah, and again, it's there are these players like you know that – you're not going to, you know, I'm not going to remember everyone. So, so far yeah. it's really been, that's the only one I have. I'm pretty, I'm pretty blown away how much you know about all these guys, how much you still I watched remember. I just like, I, I, mean, I, I mean, it's just, it. just, just in your so, guys there, you watched a lot, you guys watch a lot of basketball, right? Yeah. I have no clue of half the players that are playing right now. 
All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Do we build enough suspense for you there, Jeff? <laughs> I think so. All right, Seattle, we're going to Seattle. Sonics. Tom Chambers. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. There center. You go. there you yeah. Go. Yeah, he's, he was a. Oh, my God. He was your center. Oh! oh! Boom. That is vicious. Yeah. Who did he. Oh, against the 76ers. Is that, is that Chocolate Thunder? I think you're right. Yeah. He dunked on Chocolate Thunder. Wow. <laughs> All right, oh, no, wow. no holds barred. All star MVP this year, Tom Chamber was. And. Uh, you, you know, when you think of Tom Chambers, he, he has a very iconic dunk over Mark Jackson where he kind of gets pushed up in the air. You know, people think of that Tom Chambers dunk, but as we we're, which is not in this season, but as we go through, went through Tom Chambers highlights, the yeah. guy could throw it down and did it often and yeah. consistently and violently. We just love seeing him dunk through contact he looks, here. He, he looks he, like he, he belongs in a Terminator yeah, movie. He, he plays, yeah. ang he played angry. Yeah. He definitely played, you he got played it. angry that's yeah. that's totally who tom chambers was looks like he's coming out of rocky three so i, I love it the yeah dude. so actually I, I is that dawkins he did that on is yeah. that really is uh -huh. that that is that is such an incredible so, dunk. So, holy cow i i feel I, like he I just this, don't see a dawkins is that dawkins i'm not sure that 23? is 23 33 I, I don't when they show the shirt they don't try i'm not sure if it's dawkins so we'll have to, we'll have to look it so up. for me it, that's i mean dawkins chocolate thunder that's pretty hard to dunk on chocolate thunder all right yeah to go right through them and uh, and throw it down like that no that's that's a that's a fun one for sure all right well thank you everyone for taking the time to check out this video uh if you pulled something that you're really excited about please feel free to leave a comment below make sure to like and subscribe Thanks once again to my dad and to Austin for joining me and for ripping some packs and we'll see you guys next video. Please clap.